there's so much going on there that it you think in your head i want that then you don't have a road map of how to actually get there jimmy creates the content for you now how do we distribute that content in a relevant manner now i'm not going to ask jimmy to go back maybe we'll do it in post recording where i walked you through that campaign where i said hey first decision have they seen have they bought this no move them forward have they engaged with this content in the last thir- uh, three months i think it was three months no move them forward right so let's take that and now if we progress forward to that next slide jim uh yeah there we go okay so i blocked out the actual product names because of the client their name is re- irrelevant but what we have here is if you start scrolling down that side there sorry back to the side where you see contacts in these campaigns see the low digits down at the bottom those are front end offers now this is a live snapshot because i like to shoot from the hip you i, I grabbed this this morning from this yeah, client's yeah. database and driving jimmy and mario insane <laughs> those low ticket ones down there those low volume ones those are the front end offerings those are the ones where we're really going hard now as you start working your way up the column and you start seeing eight nine thousand seven thousand contacts in that uh those campaigns those are those lower tiered offerings all the way up that highest one that's almost at it is over nine thousand isn't it there's nine thousand contacts sitting this is that ebook campaign i showed you sitting just to be offered a free plus shipping book Mm -hmm. okay so now take those campaigns that you saw earlier we want to attract relevant clients right Uh have keep our conversation relevant to them so you can combo the content that jimmy's talking about you've created once you have a landing page you have email you have video you can connect it to them via email but simultaneously be controlling ads that they're seeing on social media to the sequence and the organic stuff that they're seeing as well right if they want to pop in at that point great whatever but now you can control large lists mm-hmm. long term. So here's the thing: if you're looking at, you have a, uh, I'll make Infusionsoft the the go to here for a second. If you have north of ten thousand contacts inside of your Infusionsoft, and you haven't felt deliverability issues yet, <laughs> reach issues. Take a look at that again. That slide cumulative total we're up almost if somebody will actually do the numbers and say actually clint over a hundred thousand contacts if you're over fifty thousand contacts in this database (laughs) somebody's gonna somebody's gonna enjoy Uh, we're gonna get a comment somewhere um (laughs) you're managing they're managing 30 40 000 contacts Mm -hmm. making timely relevant offers yeah out of one Infusionsoft. I know people that are freaking out at 500 contacts and saying, the software is screwed, I'm out. Uh It's not the software. Yeah, it's your strategy, right? How are you staying relevant? Yeah, and and then it's also when you're only relying on on email as opposed to going multiple channels because you know what? People consume information different ways. And isn't it great when you can move them ahead in the conversion funnel, with either something that's happening automatically or something that they're viewing at home on their phone when they're on social media. Right. Um, 